uh, welcome to Berlin where I have Asenblut from Köttingen with me. First of all guys, please tell me what and who are Asenblut? Uh, yes, hello and uh, thanks for having us actually. Uh, as you already stated, we are a band from uh, Göttingen. Uh, we're a melodic death metal band, I'd say. And yeah, I'm the singer, Tetzel. Nice to see you guys. Yeah, my name is Klaus Kleinkrieg. I'm playing first and lead guitars and rhythm guitars as well. I'm Yuri. I'm, I'm playing the guitar. Hi, I'm Sash and I play the bass guitar. Our drummer's still missing, but he'll be here soon. Maybe you'll get a chance to take a glimpse of him, but yeah, not right now. Yeah. Okay, your music deals heavily with Norse mythology. Where does this fascination with Norse myths come from? Uh, that's something that interested me very early on, actually. Uh, the lyrics are written by, uh, by me. Uh, the music is mostly written by uh, Klaus. And yeah, it's a topic or... Uh, the topics that are dealt with are very interesting um, analogies to um, real life and it's very interesting because the the fables so to speak um, in Norse mythology are not about perfection but usually about the flaws of the gods so to see that divine beings that are basically more human than anyone else um, have so much flaws and do so many mistakes it's very interesting and in how they deal with that and uh, it's a lot about communication and uh, vindication struggles so v very interesting topics and generally I wouldn't even say that most of our songs deal with Norse mythology uh, our name of course derives from it Aesir's blood but uh, usually we have a lot of fantastical themes and uh, a lot of stuff from literature uh, and German fantasy literature as well uh, you released your latest album, Berserker, last year. What can you tell us about the album? Well, <clears throat> actually it was quite a struggle to write the album because we had some struggles with musicians and then we had some new guys in the band, for example Yuri here on my right side. And it took a while, but uh, when I got the point, um, I was... <laughs> It took around about 12 months to write the album. Uh, I wrote it together with uh, a little bit with Yuri and a little bit with our drummer. And um, first of all, it was like, w w w or most of the time we write first the music and then comes the lyrics, because the lyrics hooks into the atmosphere of a song. Well, that's more or less um, it. And then there was this uh, thing about our cover album. We had this cover artist. Um, he made a sketch uh, about what he was thinking about when he was listening to our music. And uh, th it, it was mainly this this really heavy person, kind like an association between our music we wrote and, and uh, our, our main singer, who is a uh, strong man. <laughs> and um, so these associations came together. And um, the last song I wrote was the main title and fitted exactly on this on this person on this image and uh, this heroic heroic kind of metal thing whatever and so uh, it came to the title which uh, is berserker that's what i think describes it all doesn't it uh yeah absolutely and uh for the first time we released the album via afm records which is actually our uh, third record label and they approached us on a gig uh, the year before we released the album uh, at the Rock Hearts Festival, which is a bigger festival in Germany. And this time we had the opportunity to really put not only the effort into the music, but also had a little bit more of a financial background so we could release it uh, with a music video, which you can find somewhere linked, I'm, I suppose. And uh, we could uh, really uh, stop compromising regarding the sound and everything around the album so we, we had the chance to take better photos to have a, a more professional cover to have a little bit of stage outfit actually to have um, everything put out there in a way that our vision of, of the band of the music of what Berserker should be um, is out there so this is really the first time we had that chance and we're really glad for that and we think that the result is really speaking for itself so I hope you enjoy the music and um, want to listen to more of that because in next February, uh, just spoiling a little bit, uh, we got an upcoming EP, which is going to uh, be called Legends or Legenden in German. 
and uh, it's going to be um, by the same producer, uh, Sieb Levermann, uh, who also recorded Berserker, but this time we're even more satisfied with the sound, so <laughs> it's going to be really brutal. Uh, we, lo we already love it. So yeah, the album came together quite nicely, as Dirk already said, as Klaus already said, and um, the lyrics on, uh, written on my part are, in a way, it's easier for me to write the lyrics when the songs are there. On the other hand, it's it's harder also because everything is finished and the guys are okay let's record and i'm like dude i don't have the lyrics yet so obviously it takes time because it's a creative process you have to listen to the songs in abundance and then get to a point where you where you have all these images in your head and then you have to get get it across in the words our songs are in german our lyrics are in german uh, because i feel it's not easier to express in German what you want to say, but it's more interesting in a way. German as a language um, is relatively harsh. Uh, it fits metal really, really well. And actually, it's easier for me to write really, really... It's brutal. It's a brutal language. Yeah, it's, it's easier to write in uh, English for me. Um, I'm not a native speaker, but I studied English, so my English is all right. I'm a little bit rusty, so <laughs> please mind that. But, Same over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in German it's really um, trying to find a word that creates a certain image that's uh, in congruence with the music and also expresses what you want to express. It's oftentimes not easy, but I feel that in this album we, we did a good job and that I did a good job that it fits and also that the singing fits the mood of the song, even though it's harsh vocals, obviously growls and screams. It's harsh music, isn't it? it is, it's harsh I, music anyway, uh, isn't it? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> uh, you are playing in Blackland tonight. How important are live performances for you? Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe yeah. we should yeah, every, pass the mic to that. our other friends. How important is playing live for you? It's maybe it's all for me. Yeah? It's the quintessence of all. I've made heavy metal. I made uh, music, and it's for the guys outside, for everyone who will like to hear us. And that's the reason why I had to play. Yeah, it's just for the life. That's the reason why. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I think... My English is fucking bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you, you, you don't have to be ashamed. I can, I but can you're the best nothing. live musician in our band, so uh, I think ah. you should say something. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, metal is metal and will be metal. <laughs> no. This is insider. Okay, yeah. Uh, so right. Something our drummer said in, in, in our very first, first interview. He said metal is metal and will remain metal. Yeah. yeah. So. Actually, it's uh, metal is uh, metal is all about live music, and live music is all about metal. That's why the metal scene is so big because it works really well live. Uh, there are so many bands out there uh, out there who sound great live, but on on EP or LP they are like. Yeah, well, it's okay. It's a good studio album, and but on, when you listen to them live, the loud, they are very loud, and it's it's like just hitting you in your face, and that's why heavy metal works, and that's the point why we are together because we, first of all, want to make live music for a great audience and perform for them and feel the atmosphere, um, the energy, whatever, all these kind of clichés, clichés. Cliches, yeah. Cliches and um, yeah, uh, that's why I make music because I want to play on a stage. That's my intention. Hardly anything to add, I think. Uh, basically, yeah, it's about the energy. It's about playing live. It's about performing and getting across what you what you rehearse for. Uh, of course, I love to listen to our songs when we put them on an album because that's that's like. The work you have in your hand that's what you create but to perform it to have people participating in that experience that we have every week in the rehearsal room when we play it for ourselves and we develop the music that's that's the experience that it's all about and to feel the crowd and to to be part of the crowd in a certain way and to fuel that energy that's obviously the, the thing uh, that's our bread and butter it's not about for a heavy metal musician it's never about music it's all uh, not, never about money i'm sorry of course it's just about music and about passion basically so yeah i think 
if there weren't any live gigs, we wouldn't do that for we'll 10, year, <laughs> 10 years yeah. now. Yeah, we, 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 we would die, definitely. <laughs> okay, I read somewhere that the band was founded in 2006, but today I learned that it was actually 2007. Would you mind clearing that out for us? Yeah, that's some confusing uh, information on the web. It's just uh, coincidence and people often repeat it, so it's uh, just just a little slight mistake. Uh, when I first started playing guitar, I did like three rehearsals with some friends and I came up with a name, but the band didn't really start. Uh, the first the band first started in 2007 when I sat down uh, with Klaus and I asked, he was my guitar teacher, so I asked him, dude, you want to play in a band? And he said, let's do a couple of rehearsals and see where it takes us, basically. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> right. <clears throat> and these guys are uh, came to us in the last two and three years. And uh, the musicians we had uh, from the beginning um, already uh, have left us. And yeah, they, they're not dead. They just no, 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 no. <laughs> they d d just left the Sorry. band. And so uh, <laughs> s it, it developed over the years. And that's what we are at the moment. Yeah, we, we started out as a student's band, basically, so I was studying back then, Dirk uh, was, uh, sorry, Klaus was, <laughs> his, his real name is Dirk, so everybody now knows in Finland, uh, your real name is Dirk, Klaus Kleinkrieg, it's his uh, artist name, and uh, we started out and he was a guitar teacher in my town, so, and uh, that's how we came together, basically, and uh, the, the other guys left due to other commitments in life, um, Phil was with us eight years, our drummer just for a couple of weeks. Then we got Mate, uh, the Balrog, who's in, who's in here right now. But yeah, and he stayed with us uh, through all of this. So we're actually right now 10 years old. So happy birthday to us. <laughs> happy birthday. Where's my cake? Yeah, so how would you describe the decade long heroic metal journey? I don't know if it's heroic. <laughs> Basically, yeah, it's hard work. Hard work all the way. A band is like a relationship. It is. It, so it's going uh, through ups and downs, ups and downs, ups, downs, 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 downs. Uh, it's always hard work, and there nobody is gonna gonna like uh, give you anything for free. So you you have to put in the work, and we we always know that whenever we put in more work, we will have more out of it, like more gigs, more uh, shows to play, and of course more fun. And I think that's what it's all about. Music should be fun. And convincing. Convincing? Überzeugen. What do you mean by that? Überzeugen. And we, we convince more? We have to convince with our music and our Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, we are, we are more convincing when we perform. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's absolutely true. Perform, it's like, if you don't convince with your music, nobody's interested anymore. So. If you've got a fan base, that means you convince the people that your music is something they really like and really go is really good. And yeah, I really hope our music is good. <laughs> but that's something for you guys to decide, basically. Yeah. We feel it's good because that's why we play it. I mean, <laughs> obviously. Uh, your hometown, Köttingen, comes up frequent frequently. What can you tell us about Köttingen? Where does it come up frequently? Uh, when I read about your band online, uh, right. yeah. Okay. Yeah, Göttingen. Uh, Göttingen is a very interesting town. It's basically a university town and that's what everything is centered around in Göttingen. And, um, daily life, basically, and uh, the infrastructure, everything is about the university, which has a certain reputation for um, nowadays being a very um, scientific university, like, like um, the how do you say that? Physics, math, chemics, biology, biology ma geography. medics, uh, medicine, yeah. And but it used to be uh, very, very strong in the in the uh, how do you say that? Um, Geisteswissenschaften. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like the like. Uh, damn, I'm lacking a word. Like like arts, you know, like um, philosophy and uh, languages, uh, language stuff, language studies, uh, theology. So yeah, that's that's something uh, Göttingen really stands for. I I've read that it's sometimes called the like the German Harvard, <laughs> but I'm not sure how well that fits. I I don't know. It's it's been a while since we studied, so <laughs> we just basically lived there. And I think Göttingen is a town where the metal scene is relatively small and uh, we've never had like this very close connection to our hometown playing there like two times a year and to the metal scene so we basically just did our thing all the time
Yeah, that's almost everything to say yeah. about Göttingen. It's like um, I, I'm, my personal opinion is it's, it's a town with a very high living quality because it's more like a village, but even big enough to have really interesting cultural and, uh, uh, and social structures. Um, maybe thanks to the university. It's like, you know, just one word to the university. It's, we have 120,000 people living in Göttingen and yeah, 35,000 students. And when there are um, when there is vacation time, holiday, they are all gone. The town is <laughs> empty, <laughs> which is which is really funny. And when they come back, everything is overcrowded. So, um, but um, to my mind, a really nice town. And yeah, the metal scene is really small, too small to my mind. And so we, it, it's sometimes really hard to make connection to other metal fans, metal scenes, uh, other bands, and even searching for musicians. So it's we've been really lucky to find these guys um, making uh, music with us together. And they have to drive really quite a long long One way hour, to, yeah. to, to come to our rehearsals, which is which m makes clear what kind of dimensions we are talking about. Yeah, yeah 100,000 people and uh, 100,000 people and uh, very little musicians, basically. Uh, I, I only know one other metal band from Göttingen right I now. Too, from you, you know too, okay, yeah, but so yeah, that's how small the scene is, basically. And we have a lot of rehearsal rooms, but yeah, no, not really metal. <laughs> only, reggae, only reggae music and uh, alternative and punk music. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay, thank you very much, guys, and uh, break a leg tonight. Uh, yeah, we're going to try to and uh, stay healthy at the same time. Uh, just one more word to our uh, hopefully new Finnish fans. Uh, I really hope you guys like it and please give us a like on our Facebook page. Visit us there. We usually post in English. So if you got any questions, feel free to ask. We'd like to get in contact to you guys. Yeah, and uh, remind the new, uh, shall I say remind, uh, the new EP coming out next February? Uh, yeah, you remember it, yeah. Remember, remember what we talked about, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, save the um, date. <laughs> save, save the date, right. Yeah. So, you're welcome. Hey, bye-bye. <laughs> Tschüss. <laughs> See you on stage! Hopefully in Finland, very soon, yeah.